హలో వ్యూవర్స్ యు ఆర్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ ఫసీ బాట్నీ ఇన్ దిస్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆఫ్ బయోమ్ సిరీస్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు షేర్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ది ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఆన్ డెజర్ట్ బయోమ్స్ ద డెజర్ట్స్ ఆర్ ద డ్రైయెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ బయోమ్స్ క్యారెక్టరైజ్ బై ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్లీ లో రైన్ఫాల్ అండ్ హై టెంపరేచర్ దే కవర్ అబౌట్ వన్ ఫిఫ్త్ ఆఫ్ అర్త్ సర్ఫేస్ అండ్ ఆర్ ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ కాంటినెంట్ దే కెన్ బి ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ వేరియస్ రీజన్స్ from scorching hot deserts of the sahara to the frigid polar deserts the distribution is primarily influenced by the factors like latitude atmospheric circulation patterns and proximity to large water bodies hot and dry deserts are characterized by high temperature and low humidity like sahara desert the cool desert experience cold winters and warm summers with precipitation primarily in the form of snow like in gobi desert the plants and animals in the desert biomes have evolved variety of adaptations to survive in the harsh conditions of the arid environments desert biomes despite their harsh conditions face numerous threats due to human activities and climate change these threats can have significant impact on the biodiversity and ecological balance of these fragile ecosystems the contents of this video the unique characters of desert biomes factors affecting desert distribution hot and cold deserts then plant adaptations in deserts animal adaptations threats to the desert biome and conservation efforts the key characteristics of a desert biome the deserts receive less than 10 inches of rainfall per year deserts experience some of the most extreme temperature fluctuations on earth day time temperature can be scorching often reaching a well over 38 degrees while night time temperature can drop significantly sometimes even below freezing due to the lack of water desert vegetation is often sparse and specialized both plants and animals that inhabit deserts have evolved unique adaptations to survive in these harsh conditions plants show features like succulent stem to store water deep roots to reach underground water sources and waxy coating to minimize water loss many desert animals are nocturnal to avoid the heat of the day and some reptiles have developed the ability to regulate their body temperature by basking in the sun or seeking shade the soil in the deserts is typically sandy rocky or gravelly with a poor nutrient content this make it difficult for the plants to grow further contributing to the sparse vegetation while deserts are often associated with vast sandy plains they can also have diverse landscapes like mountains canyons and oases these variations in terrain can create different microclimate and support a wider range of species factors affecting the desert distribution the first one is latitude the deserts are often found in the latitudes between 15 degrees and 30 degrees north and south of equator these regions experience high levels of solar radiation and descending air masses that create dry conditions the earth's atmospheric circulation patterns such as haldi cell and contribute to the formation of the desert descending air masses in these regions create high pressure zones leading to dry conditions the deserts tend to be located far from large bodies of water which can influence precipitation patterns mountains or other geographical features can also create rain shadows leading to arid conditions in certain regions so there are two types of deserts the hot and dry deserts and cool deserts the hot and dry deserts are the most common type of deserts characterized by high temperatures and low humidity 
for example sahara desert in africa and majao desert in north america the cold deserts are experience cold temperature especially during winter examples are gobi desert in mongolia and china and antarctic desert distribution of desert biomes as you can see from the map desert biomes are found in various parts of the world often forming distinct belts or regions major desert regions are in north africa the sahara desert the largest hot desert in the world stretches across much of north africa other desert like kalahari in southern africa and namib desert in namibia the arabian desert the arab al khali and the negev desert are the prominent desert regions in the middle east in north america the majao desert is found in the southwestern region of united states and northern mexico the atacama desert in chile and peru is one of the driest places on earth the great victoria desert the simpson desert and the gibson desert are located in central and western australia the gobi desert in mongolia and china the thar desert in india and pakistan are significant desert regions in asia the hot deserts are characterized by the high temperature and low humidity they are often found in the regions far from the large water bodies which can help to moderate temperatures the day time temperature can reach well over 38 degrees celsius making them some of the hottest places on the earth the hot deserts have very dry air which can lead to rapid evaporation and rehydration due to the lack of water plants are often adopted to survive harsh conditions such as cacti succulents and xerophytes the soil in the hot deserts is typically sandy or rocky with poor nutrient content some of the examples of the hot deserts are the sahara desert the largest desert in the world covering the parts of north africa then majao desert located in the southwestern united states known for its joshua tree and desert tortoises then kalahari desert found in the southern africa with a mix of sand dunes grassland and scrubland then rub al khali the empty quarter a vast sandy desert in the arabian peninsula the cold deserts are characterized by low temperatures and dry conditions unlike hot deserts they experience freezing temperatures especially during the winter months despite the cold temperature the cold deserts still receive very little precipitation plants in the cold deserts are adapted to survive in harsh conditions often with features like deep roots to reach underground water sources and waxy coatings to minimize water loss the soil in the cold deserts is typically rocky or gravelly with poor nutrient content examples of the cold deserts are gobi desert located in mongolia and china known for its harsh winters and sand dunes antarctica the largest cold desert on earth covered in ice and snow greenland the second largest island in the world mostly covered in ice arctic deserts a vast region surrounding north pole characterized by ice snow and permafrost plants in the desert biomes have evolved a variety of adaptations to survive in the harsh conditions of arid environments these adaptations help them conserve water tolerate extreme temperature and obtain essential nutrients some of the adaptations are the desert plants have thick fleshy leaves that can store water for extended periods some plants have small or needle like leaves to minimize water loss through transpiration a waxy coating on the leaves helps to reduce water loss by preventing evaporation 
desert plants often have deep roots that can reach underground water source allowing them to access moisture during dry periods some plants have shallow roots that spread out widely to capture rain water before it can evaporate the cam photosynthesis this is a special type of photosynthesis allows the plants to open their stomata at night to absorb carbon dioxide and close them during the day to reduce water loss ephemerals are the plants that have short life cycle and germinate and bloom quickly after rainfall completing their life cycle before the dry season returns the cacti are the known for their spiny appearance and ability to store water in their stem it is an example similarly the in succulents the plants with fleshy leaves or stems that store water such as aloe vera and jade plants joshua tree it is a iconic desert tree with distinctive twisted branches Animals in the desert biomes have evolved a variety of adaptations to survive in the harsh conditions of arid environments. These adaptations help them to conserve water, tolerate extreme temperature, and find food and shelter. Many desert animals are active at night to avoid the heat of the day. That is called as nocturnal activity. The animals can burrow underground to escape the heat and find cooler temperatures. Desert animals have evolved in efficient ways to conserve water such as producing concentrated urine, obtaining most of their water from their food and having thick skins to reduce water loss. Some animals have developed a camouflage to blend in with their surroundings. helping them to avoid predators or prey many desert animals have specialized feet like large flat feet for walking on sand or webbed feet for swimming in oases some animals can enter a state of dormancy such as hibernation during winter or estivation during hottest months some of the examples are kangaroo rats phoenix foxes camel desert tortoise scorpion etc desert biomes despite their harsh conditions face numerous threats due to human activities and climate change these threats can have significant impacts on the biodiversity and ecological balance of these fragile ecosystems some of the threats are climate change over exploitation of resources urbanization and development introduced species and pollution rising temperature and changes in the precipitation patterns can exacerbate the arid conditions in desert biomes leading to the increased water scarcity heat stress and habitat loss the extraction of natural resources such as minerals and fossil fuels can disrupt desert ecosystem and lead to habitat destruction and pollution the expansion of cities and infrastructure into desert areas can fragment habitats displace wildlife and increase pollution the introduction of non native species can compete with native species for resources and disrupt the ecological balance of desert ecosystems pollution from various sources including industrial activities mining and agriculture can contaminate water sources soil and air harming the desert organisms the conservation efforts to address the threats it is essential to implement effective conservation strategies like sustainable land management that is promoting sustainable agricultural practices reducing overgrazing and restoring degraded lands the climate change and mitigation reducing the greenhouse gas emissions to slow down the climate change and mitigate its impact on desert biomes establishing and managing protected areas to conserve 
the available biodiversity in these biomes involving the local communities in conservation efforts to promote sustainable practices and raise awareness about the importance of the desert ecosystems by addressing these threats and taking proactive conservation measures we can help to protect the unique and valuable desert biomes for future generations